sponsor here at Mobile World Congress 2016, the big keyword is 5G. What is Vodafone starting to do in 5G? Well, obviously, we're evaluating the industry and we're engaging the standardization uh, institutes to understand the next generation uh, of networks. So 5G is all about meeting uh, specific requirements, so key requirements like throughput and gigabits per second towards the end user, uh, ultra low latency in one, mid, two milliseconds, end-to-end -end application latency, uh, mobility of up to 500 kilometers an hour uh, through a train in Japan, let's say, uh, all mega concurrent connections, spectrum efficiency, to achieve that. So our past and what we're showing here in 2016 is how mobile edge computing comes in place to tackle the extreme low latency for applications, end-to-end -end applications. So right now if you have a service running on a centralized cloud, we have an impairment across our networks. For the real key use case scenarios like smart driving, cognitive assistance, augmented reality in retail stores, op well, let's say operation remote operation by a physician in a hospital, but it's a, to a near hospital that someone is literally nearby, dying in this support, well not dying, I hope, but this use case is real ultra feedback, so one two milliseconds is the, let's say, the definition in the industry that we are targeting to achieve in the future. So mobile edge computing comes into place to really place at the edge of our network, literally one hop away the services from the user, so we can come down the path towards the services, the data path of the services towards the edge cloud. So edge cloud can be, let's say, closer to our um, base stations uh, at aggregation points at a more controlled and predict uh, place of our network where we can control more trustworthy the available bandwidth and guarantee ultra low latencies for the next generation of services across the enterprise sector and even customers at the end. How do you use the glasses? <laughs> the glasses is just a showcase to customers uh, and visitors coming in to really s for them to see the impact on latency that we have today. So we're just showcasing a, a simple VR game uh, and they test it and they simulate it in two sections. So section one is about explaining the current situation if the service is being provided on a central cloud. So they will see, okay, the service is, is, is good, we're experimenting and having fun. But don't they try the second one, is imagining and simulating that this is running on an edge cloud, really close to them and providing with ultra low latency. And immediate responses is, wow, this is ultra responsive. And this is, well, imagine how this is, will, is crucial for automated cars, for self-driving cars, for remote surgery. That's that haptic feedback to be as fast as our human senses are to the response. And that's what we hope to achieve in the next generation of mobile networks in 5G. So mobile edge computing um, is all about cutting down the latency and the architectures of the networks to come to a place where it's one step away for the next research in air interfaces and all new technologies that will literally deliver the final step or about reaching one, two millisecond delay or F of end-to-end -end application. What do you think will be the first applications on pure 5G? I will say that the, industry, the automotive industry is really pushing very hard in automotive and self-driveless cars and there are already prototypes in the MEC leveraging that uh, so I'll, I believe that will actually be the first use case. So we're showcasing here a mobile edge computing platform in action uh, literally by our partner where we can literally show to, to visitors coming to our booth a service running on an edge, uh, let's, pardon me, on a central cloud, a streaming service, and you can see some, we're simulating some impairment in the network. The latency and the bandwidth constraints are perceptible. And they say, okay, the service can be improved, service is great, and then we deploy on the edge cloud. And literally the faces of the visitors lit up and say, oh, okay, this, this, is, this flows much better. This responsiveness of the system gets, gets a greater improvement. Now imagine this extrapolated for the real mission critical services like automotive car, automotive industry, health industry, cognitive assistance, augmented reality in retail stores. It's literally the key driver here. So yes, you can show the benefits of edge cloud computing in our booth here just by a streaming example. What were the first feedbacks from the clients that uh, were visiting your booth here? Uh, we have retail industry, automotive industry, very interested in leveraging this. Uh, obviously, automotive industry, to me, it's one of the leading sector that, in terms of requirements. Uh, the health also has come here and learning abilities. One visitor came in and he wanted to check how we can, let's say, dental medicine train 
and educate students, but from a remote location for them to really touch equipment that is literally not available there. Because the equipment from dental practice is quite expensive. So let's just say, well, have a shorter amount of equipment, but still be able to produce education for students remotely. But this is one use case. So I will say automotive, health and retail will probably be the most visitors that have arrived here. But mostly the, the main uh, target uh, seems to be the industrial sector, not yes, necessarily the big end enterprise users. customers. Yes, I'll say. The end users come here, they experience VR experience and they understand the importance on latency. But then our key message is for them to even extrapolate for the next generation of services as cognitive assistance and augmented reality. Instant translation by video coming to a new country like Spain, whoever is not Spanish, have on their smartphone just filming and even even translations on augmented reality on his phone but instant translation that could happen if we have edge computing it's an exciting opportunity